Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, July 22nd, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Turnovers on a football field, maybe. And this is wordplay. And I don't imagine they're talking about interceptions or fumbles. Turnovers. Are they actually talking about some kind of pastry? Turnovers? Hmm. I don't know. Heroic piece of writing. Heroic. It's probably not a brave piece of writing. Maybe it's a piece of writing about a hero? Hmm. Wasn't in a hurry. This could be a million different things. Some new job requirements in jargon. Hmm. Is it about a modern job or... Is it just a new job to the person that's applying for it? I don't know. Long shot in sports. Oh man. Is it a tray? Is it a three point shot in basketball? Hmm. Make one. That could be wed. Kaiser's group. Kaiser? Um. Hmm. What are they talking about? Are they talking about the leader of Germany? I have no idea. Mind reading in brief. And this is more wordplay. So is this not about ESP? Mind reading. Hmm, it feels like it has to be about something else because it's wordplay. Very interesting. Snorri's story? Who is Snorri? Oh my god, I have no idea. Game with rolling and bluffing. Rolling and bluffing. Hmm. It kind of sounds like it's about some kind of game with dice and cards, but it's probably about literally rolling, like rolling your body. Bluffing. God, what a tough start so far. Court in a courtyard, perhaps. Court. Okay, maybe they're talking about wooing someone. Court in a courtyard, perhaps. Yeah. How would you describe this, though? It's not just like flirting, is it? It could be flirting. It could probably be a million other things, too. Labsynth painter. Um... Was there a painter that was super into absinthe? There must have been. Is it like Degas? He would fit. So would Monet or Manet. There's a lot of artists that would fit in here. Hmm. Chicken soup and eucalyptus oil for two. Eucalyptus oil. I wonder if this is home remedies. That would fit. Oh my god, I hope that's right. Something one can pay for free. One can pay for free. Maybe this is homage? You can pay homage to someone for free. Wow, that's tricky. Uh, let's see what this next long across is here. Extreme challenges. Oh, I don't know, like this Saturday puzzle? Um, hmm. We can probably get it with a bit more crossing help. Use. Hmm. Man. Big blows. Is this like physically hitting something? Big blows. Hmm. Like the expensive stuff often. Expensive stuff? What are they talking about? I have no idea what context this clue is dealing with. Musical unit. Oh my god. Um, is it a unit in music or is it actually a unit from a musical? Uh, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do? I mean, soul would fit, but then that would mean homage is wrong, which is a possibility. Maybe this is something like ambled? Just having one letter in there really helps. Huh. New job requirements. 
Long shot in sports. I don't know, is it like arcs? Like in tennis, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. That doesn't seem great. Mind reading. Hmm. Boy, how tricky. Well, where can we start next? Rings. This could be about calling someone on the telephone. Phones? Phones would fit. Hmm. <laughs> what the heck is Snorri? Military acronym first used in World War II. I want to put in Snafu. Yeah, that looks really good. Heady stuff. And this is wordplay. So this is not going to be about a bunch of exhilarating material. Um, heady stuff. Is it stuff for your head? Or maybe it's like a head of a glass of beer again, like foam. I guess it could be foam. Like archaeological finds typically, I don't know, ancient? Oh my god. We're going to really have to hope we can build back into this section up here. Wow. Measure of inflation abbreviated. Okay, this is being tricky yet again. I don't think this is about financial inflation. I think it's just about inflating a tire. This could be PSI. Very, very tricky. I love it. Hats originating in Ecuador despite their name. Okay, this has got to be about Panama hats. That's kind of funny. So this is going to be Panama's. Whew, okay, at least we have something to build off here. Some seals. Is this talking about seals on an envelope, or is it talking about the mammal, the seal? Seals. Hmm. Blank hair. It starts with an I? Inflated. Hmm. We're talking about inflation again. What is that? Glass for cerveza. Okay, that's Spanish for beer, right? Glass for beer? Is this the Spanish word for glass? Hmm. One's at the bar for a few drafts. More wordplay. So this is not about beer. Maybe it's about somebody that is at a bar and they write? They're writing a few drafts? Hmm. For a few drafts. Yeah, I don't know. What would that be? I'm not sure what kind of writer that would be. National Security Advisor under Obama. Oh my god, I do not remember this. Periodic table number. Would that be atomic weight? I'm not sure if that's the right abbreviation, but let's try it. 00101 for one abbreviated. That looks like a social security number. Okay, so WN, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't know about atomic weight. That looks a little strange. Dryer detritus. Okay, well that should be lint. All right, maybe it's okay. Hmm. National Security Advisor, man. Report on a match. Is this talking about a tennis match or is it about a match that you use to start a fire? Report on a match or maybe it's a romantic match. Romance. No, that doesn't fit, does it? Like some cakes and games. Oh God, I have no idea. General starting point. More wordplay. Hmm. So it's not about an estimated starting point. Maybe it's a starting point for a military general. What would that be though? Uh, I don't know, is it like a rank, like a private? Like they start as a private and work their way up? Hmm. Richard Blank, longtime chief foreign correspondent for 46 down. Oh boy. RCA spinoff. It looks like it has to be a news organization. What was spun off of RCA? I don't think it was CNN, was it? Hmm. Rang up. Oh my god. 
Didn't we have this up here? Oh, it's rings. Ring up. I guess this could be sold. Like at a cash register. It could be about telephones again. Called. It could just be called. Subject of a museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> I have no idea. Is it Dole? That would just be a wild guess. Academic umbrella. Hmm. This can't be talking about a literal umbrella, right? I don't think so. Members of one's chosen family. This has got to be about friends somehow, right? Circle of friends? I don't think that fits. Places to find faults. I wonder if this is talking about geological faults. Hmm. Subject of a museum, right? RCA spinoff. Doctor Who? Could anything else fit in here? I'm just gonna leave this. Cheney, who is known as the Man of a Thousand Faces. Okay, finally something I'm sure of. That is Lon Cheney, the actor. Mikhail Baryshnikov by birth. Uh, this was a ballerino, right? Um, hmm. What would he have been? Is it a nationality? I don't know. Pan-fried dishes serve to commemorate the miracle of the oil. Pan-fried. Is this about Hanukkah? Uh, maybe this is a latkes. Let's see if that's right. Is this a let? Is he from Latvia? We just saw a let the other day. Maybe it is. It's a pretty tenuous guess, but we need all the help we can get here. Come clean. And this is more wordplay. So it's not about being honest. Hmm. I wonder if it's about literally cleaning. One who usually works in the evening shift. Hmm. I don't know. Just a little bit more crossing help would be so helpful. Nuts or bananas? Okay, these are both kind of cheeky ways to call someone crazy. But I almost wonder if they're just literally talking about nuts and bananas. Hmm. I don't know. It could also just be about a way to call someone crazy. Hmm. Parts of some contracts. I really want this to be clauses. That doesn't fit, though. Paradise. Hmm. It's not Eden. Paradise. Interesting. Just a sec in texts. Um. It's not B right there, is it? BRT? I don't know. WLE is an unusual string of letters. Hmm. Boy. What a tricky puzzle today. Places to find faults. It might end in an S. Yeah, maybe. Oh man. I think we looked at everything, didn't we? Oh geez, we are in trouble. Let's see, can we make any more progress up here? Use. Hmm. I mean, this is probably plural, right? Requirements and jargon, yeah. Hmm. Maybe this is aged? Like aged wine? That would be expensive, yeah. Oh boy, does that help? Well, it does eliminate Monet and Manet, so that's good, I guess. It could still be Degas. Use. Could this start with an E? And what about a G here? Big blows. It does feel like it could be a G. Hmm. It's not games, I don't think. Extreme challenges. It feels like it wants to start with double, doesn't it? Could it start with double? Um, It's not double Jeopardy, is it? From Jeopardy? Jeopardy. Uh, that would fit, actually. Hmm, that's interesting. 
Long shot in sports. Maybe it is a tray. Oh my god, that's the first thing we wanted. Use. That should be employ, right? Oh my god, we're finally getting some progress. I think this must be Degas. Musical unit. Uh, I don't know. Is it a set? This feels like maybe something I've never heard of before. Heroic piece of writing. It looks like it wants to be a couplet or something. This could be gales, right? That would be big blows of wind. Oh my god. Um, why would it be a couplet? Heroic. I don't know. That seems weird to me. Maybe this is Relos. We just saw that the other day, too. You have to relocate for your new job. Okay. Turnovers on a football field, maybe. What kind of turnover are they talking about? Hmm. Maybe this is cartwheels. Maybe this is about the cheerleaders doing cartwheels. Oh my god. Why is it couples or couplet? Why is it a couplet? Um, I think it has to be a couplet. I'm not sure why, though. And this is a set? I mean, that sounds fairly good. Kaiser's group. Oh my god, is this like Kaiser Permanente? Um, they would be an HMO, right? They're a healthcare provider? God, that's nasty. Mind reading. Maybe it's an EEG that would literally be a brain scan. Double dog dares. Holy moly, that is so hard. That is a really great entry. Uh, this maybe is Edda. So this is like Viking legend. Is that right? Snorri? Oh my god. Game with rolling and bluffing. It looks like it's going to start with liars, doesn't it? I'm trying to think of a game that starts with liars. I don't know. Court in a courtyard. Yeah, maybe this is Serenade. That is great. It is about courting or wooing. Subject of the 1787 Connecticut Compromise. We hadn't looked at this one yet. Uh, what would that be about? 87. So this would be after the Revolutionary War. I wonder if it starts with C, although two A's in a row is kind of weird. Rings. Uh, is this areoli? Are we talking about biological rings? Uh, that seems a little weird, actually. SEO. I'm not sure if you can pluralize this like this. Hmm. Yeah, this looks a little weird. Like the leeward side. Are we talking about leeward on a ship? That would be protected from the wind, right? Um, it's not like safe, right? That doesn't really work. Hmm, I'm gonna take this out. You know what this could be instead? Maybe it's arenas? It's like boxing rings? Oh my god. Okay, so maybe this is the Senate. That would make a lot of sense. They're still figuring out how the government works like the leeward side. Maybe it's safer. Yeah, you are sheltered, okay. Heady stuff. Is it suds? Are they talking about beer? Because beer does have a head when you pour it. Is it a D over here? Um, maybe this is dated? Archaeologists want to date their finds, right? Maybe this is talking about beer. It could be suds. Liars what? Oh god, that's so nasty that we can't finish this. One's at the bar for a few drafts. Man, this is such a generic ending. It's really not that helpful. Hmm. Rolling and bluffing. Ugh, god. I was hoping we'd be able to build into this middle section. We did get an E here. National Security Advisor. Uh, under Obama. Hmm.
some seals. Man, this is so, so tricky. Well, I'm gonna poke around in the lower two thirds of this grid and see if I can find another place to get a toehold here. We didn't look at this clue, did we? Feature of a work boot. I really just want that to be a steel toe. Uh, could it be that easy? We didn't look at this either. Sue Grafton Memorial Award and others. Uh, well, this probably ends in an S. I'm not sure what this is, though. Yeah, I don't know if it's like an Oscar or something. And others. Oscars. I mean, that would fit. Finds and fast. Is this talking about quickly finding something? Oh, man. I have no idea. We did get an S here. Under Obama. Hmm. I was thinking this is maybe a soft G, a soft G sound at the beginning of general, but it doesn't seem like that's what's happening. Hmm. Does this S help? Members of one's chosen family. Ugh. All of this looks a little strange. All right, well, back to searching for that toehold. Wait a minute, come clean? Shouldn't that just be bathe? It's literally about cleaning yourself. Okay, I like the TH here. Red dot in the middle of the forehead. We didn't look at this either. It's a bindi. Nice, okay. One who usually works in the evening shift. Hmm. What job would require you to work in the evening shift? I don't know. Is this just bonkers? Oh my god. Just a sec in text. Maybe it's BRB. Be right back. Parts of some contracts. That could be riders. Those are like clauses to the contract. Paradise. Oh, is it just bliss? There we go. What goes to pot? And this is wordplay. Something going to pot is kind of an idiom that means it's going really badly, kind of like a snafu. But I think in this case, it's literally talking about something that goes in a pot. That would be soil, right? Wow. Okay. So maybe this is a sitter, a babysitter? Holy moly. Yeah, that's usually an evening shift. So... Is it others or is it mothers? This is maybe not Doctor Who. Academic umbrella. It's hard to know. It feels like the break is right here. Letters? Hmm. Places to find faults. This really feels like it wants to be epicenters, right? Of an earthquake. That's very funny. So this is not Doctor Who. Hmm. What doctor is it? I don't know. RCA spinoff. I really don't think it's the BBC. Oh, you know what? I think it might be a network. Yeah. I think it's NBC. I have read the RCA Wikipedia article a number of times. I should know this. I believe it's NBC. Let's see. Uh, I don't know who is a longtime correspondent for NBC, though. Richard. Yeah, that could be a lot of things. So maybe this is Soul Brothers? Yeah, that could be. What is this? Hmm. Oh, is it just Dr. Dre? Oh my god. Okay. Academic Umbrella. It does end in letters. Hmm. Subject of a museum. It ends in L-I. What could that be? Hmm. I don't know. Finds and fast. It ends in up, huh? Oh no. Are we not going to be able to build into the center again? Oh boy. 
Oh, you know what this could be? This could be a museum about Salvador Dali, right? I think that's a pretty good guess. So is this something and letters? Academic umbrella. Hmm, it feels like this has to be an S. Blank and letters. Is that a term to just describe academia? Academic umbrella. That's interesting. I'm not sure exactly what they're going for there. Is this just called rang up? In baseball, when the umpire rings someone up, that means they call them out on a strikeout. Hmm. I don't think it's about baseball. It could just be called. Although this C at the end here looks very bad. Cakes and games. I wanted this to be iced, but I couldn't make that work with anything on the across. Maybe this is dialed though. Dialed, could it be iced? That's very interesting. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything that would begin with C here. Report on a match. Man. Fad suffix? We didn't look at this clue either. Shouldn't this just be mania? Hmm. Maybe this is arts and letters? That would make sense. I've never heard that phrase before. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what could this be? Maybe this is an R? Finds and fast. Hmm. General starting point. What are they talking about? Report on a match. I met a uh, something? Is it a report that you're telling someone about how you met a potential partner? Oh my god. So maybe this is Oscars. It's kind of looking like that. General starting point. What? What are they talking about? Oof, I don't know. I don't know if this is Oscars. Oh God, okay, let me struggle with this center section for a little while. Ooh, I just hit on something here. I think we were on the right track before. I think this phrase might be, I met someone. Yeah, that would be a report on a match, right? Ugh, that is so tricky. All right, so this is definitely not Oscars. Uh, it's not Emmys. What is this? Memorial Award. Cerveza? Ah, some seals. Oh boy. All right, back to looking for a breakthrough. You know, I really want this to be something like rustles up, like you're scrounging something up quickly. Is that the right word? I'm just not sure. Rustles up, is that right? General starting point. Oh my God, it's a cadet. It was about a military rank. Oh my goodness, that is so tricky. General, do you start as a cadet? Isn't a cadet a Navy thing? Is there generals in the Navy? Don't they have admirals? Oh God, I don't know anything about the military. Okay, so this is probably Edgar's. That's a mystery writing award, I believe. And this is Richard Engel, okay. Um, does that help here? Is this... Susan? Is that Susan Rice? I want to say maybe it is. So this could be Liar's Dice. I mean, that sounds plausible. Rolling and bluffing, right? Okay. Um, what in the world is this? Lighters? It almost feels like it wants to be hang gliders. I think it is because you hang onto a bar and you catch some wind rafts when you're hang gliding, right? So this is not rustle up. 
Hang gliders. That is so, so tricky. Is it hustle up? I suppose it could be. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Hustles up. Uh, I think we're going to have to leave it. Glass for cerveza. Yeah, I don't know. Is this the Spanish word for glass? I think I just don't know what that is. Some seals. Yeah, this could be signets, right? Is that like the mark that you would leave in a wax seal? Signets? Like you would use your signet ring? That is so brutal. This Saturday is so, so difficult. Oh my god. Okay, so this is an ingrown hair. I finally saw that one. And then what do we have here? Inflated. I guess this is a vein? Like you have an inflated ego? Oh my god, so that means this is a vaso. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that word before. But let's go ahead and throw this V in there and see if that'll do it for us. Alright, a Saturday puzzle in 43 minutes. Wow, what can I say about this puzzle? This was so challenging. The amount of ambiguity and misdirection in these clues was off the charts today. Even wordplay clues that were indicated were really tough. One's at the bar for a few drafts. Hang gliders, wow, what a difficult clue. Report on a match, yeah, that's so ambiguous. Even this, we kind of got double misdirected. Yeah, I was thinking it wouldn't be about somebody that's bonkers. Wow, cartwheels, turnovers on a football field. This was really hard to see too, extreme challenges. I love this though, there's so many good entries today. Double Dog Dares is amazing. Soul Brothers, that was another very ambiguous clue. This could have gone a lot of different ways. Liar's Dice, that is a very cool entry. I've never heard of this before. Again, this clue is very ambiguous. This was pretty hard to parse. And even though our first inkling was kind of correct, it was still really hard to see that this should be Serenade. Wow. And even this little answer here had an extremely difficult clue. Kaiser's group. Yeah, they're talking about a company, not a ruler of Germany. That is so, so tricky. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving that extremely challenging Saturday puzzle with me. I double dog dare you to come back tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve. All right. I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.